Are you feeling powerless because you hate your job, but you don't feel like you can leave? Watch this video because I've got some tips for you to help you to know what to do next. So before I get into my tips, I'd just like to let you know my name is Dr. Patricia Thompson. I'm a corporate psychologist and management consultant and executive coach. You can learn more about me at silverliningpsychology.com. Make sure to click the bell, subscribe, like, comment, all of that so that you will be able to get more of my videos in the future. All right, so let's get to this topic of what to do if you hate your job but feel like you can't leave. Now, first of all, I want to acknowledge something. If your Instagram feed is anything like mine, you might see a lot of posts there about people who are living this dream lifestyle. You know, they've quit their job. They're telling you to pursue your passions, do what you love. But realistically, you know that if you do that, at least in the short term, there's a high likelihood that you're going to starve. And so you might be in a job that you detest but you feel kind of trapped because you can't do anything about it. You don't feel like you're at liberty to be able to leave. Um, so I wanna give you some tips to think about um, to help you to know what to proceed and to hopefully get you in a better mindset, um, either in the job that you have or to get you ready for your next job. So the first thing that I want you to do if you hate your job is to self-reflect. Um, and I want you to think about, is it this job that I hate? Or have I hated every single job that I've ever had? If you've hated every single job that you've ever had, then one of the things that you might have to think about is that the common denominator is you. So, you know, is there some underlying fundamental issue that is perhaps making it so that you're blaming situations or circumstances around you and deciding that you hate them and that they're holding you back from having a life of your dreams might not be the case, but I think that it's worthy of considering um, because a lot of times people will externalize blame instead of looking within and seeing if there are things that they're doing that are making their situation in general and their job in particular less satisfying than it could be. Okay, so then let's say that you have done that self-reflection and you realize, no, it's not me. This job just sucks. There are a lot of things about it that I don't like. Well, one of the things that can get people almost paralyzed and feeling trapped is feeling like they don't have options. And so they get stuck just kind of going in day by day with the drudgery of their job um, and feeling like there's nothing else that they can do. So the first thing I want you to do is to make a plan. Really think through what sort of job would be better for me. Maybe think about what are the things that I'm passionate about, or you could do career testing. I actually do career testing, and so if that's something you'd be interested in, um, make sure to look me up um, and send me a message on social media. But really start to look ahead because sometimes if you're just getting stuck where you are, um, like I said, it can feel very kind of hopeless and helpless. But once you start to make a plan for your future, you'll start to feel a little bit more empowered. So look ahead, think about what would I like to be doing and then start to make a plan of attack to be able to do that. And if you have no idea, then like I said, work with a career counselor or you know, do some research online. You could do informational interviews with people who are already working in the field that you wanna get into, but do some research. Next step, it might seem pretty obvious. Once you have your plan together, start to work your plan, right? It's one thing to have a vision, but if you're not moving towards it, then it's less likely that you're actually going to achieve it. Um, you know, sometimes it might seem overwhelming, for example, if you want to move into an entirely different field, but what you'll want to do is break it down into achievable action steps. You might, you know, create a to-do list and decide this week I'm going to work on, you know, for example, I don't know, 
researching the field. Next, I'm going to talk to some people who are in the field. Third, I'm going to, you know, write my resume or redo that. Or if I'm interested in being an entrepreneur, perhaps I will, you know, do some research on what I need to do to start my own business. Once you start working your plan and see yourself moving towards something, you'll likely feel a lot less trapped in the job that you're currently in because you'll see a light at the end of the tunnel and you'll know that you're making a move towards something that will be more positive for you. Next, make sure not to check out of the job that you currently have. Uh, you know, sometimes people will decide that they hate their job and they'll just let their performance slide. Um, and while that might be tempting to do, if you're ever going to need a reference in the future, then it's probably a very short-sighted approach because, uh, you know, when the person calls up your boss and asks how you were, um, and they're telling the truth, if you've been demotivated and having an attitude or not working hard, um, then that's obviously going to maybe come out in the reference track. So still do your best at the job that you have, take some pride in your work, but again, remember that it's kind of like setting the foundation for what you want to do in the future. Something else you could think about is, are there specific skills or things that I want to get out of the job that I have before I leave? Maybe they're things that would look good on my resume or, you know, even though mostly my job sucks, there are still some skills that I can pick up here that would be beneficial for me. So really try to think about how can I make the most of the time that I have here before I move on to the next thing. The last tip is the Jedi mind trick. It might just be that what you need to do is change how you look at your job. Uh, you know, sometimes we can get caught up in all the things that we don't like and we can lose sight of the things that we do like. And it can almost become a negative spiral where you're thinking, yeah, I hate this part, I hate this part, I hate this part, but then you're not aware of all the things that might be great in your job. And so sometimes what I found for some clients is just a shift in perspective actually helps them to get back in touch with what they like about their job. So for example, maybe you like the people that you work with. That could be something that you, you know, start to appreciate more and it might make you feel more positively about your job. Or you might focus on the difference that you're making for your clients and customers and how that aligns with your values. And that might help you to feel a greater sense of meaning in the work that you're doing. Um, and you know, that's not gonna be the case for everyone, but I have found that sometimes just the shift of perspective is all it takes for people to get back energized about their job and not feeling like they need to leave. So anyway, those are some quick tips. Try to put them into practice. Again, you know, I think the big thing is you don't want to feel trapped. So you need to take on a sense of empowerment for yourself, whether it's doing something different or making a plan to get yourself out. That way you'll be able to see a light at the end of the tunnel and you'll likely feel a lot better. So anyway, hope you like this video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. You can also check me out at my website, silverliningpsychology.com. I've got a lot of online courses on there on things like leadership, uh, emotional intelligence, mindfulness, accountability, a range of um, areas, and also check out my blog because I've got a lot of useful tips there too. That's it for this one. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.